Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take a wig from bright windy red to burgundy. So all you need is some conditioner, some hair rinse. I got two different colors. I got mahogany and rich amber. So I'm using these two and a clear shoe bin and some water. Step one, fill your shoe box with water. Boom, water. And the water doesn't have to be any specific temperature. It can be minus, mine is actually kind of cold. Not like freezing cold, kind of like a little past lukewarm, so. Step number two is add conditioner. Okay, so y'all don't judge me, but I accidentally added shampoo instead of conditioner. I didn't even notice it was shampoo at the time, even though that's why it got all bubbly and it was clear. But yeah, make sure you add conditioner. So I spent a lot of time in the beauty supply going back and forth like, I should get mahogany, no, I should get rich amber. So that's really why I ended up getting both. Basically, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do mahogany because I do wanna tone it down. But then I was like, I don't want it like brown. I just want to tone it down like some. So that's why I got the rich amber because that was a little bit more red. So just gonna pour that in there. I pour both bottles of hair color into the water. I put the entire bottle into the mix. Some people will even like go get some water and shake it up in the container and make sure they get everything out. So yeah, you maybe should do that. So I got a wand. So basically, hey, it's Zaria and you're watching Disney Channel. I'm gonna mix it up in here until it's all the hair color is mixed in good with the water. Once I felt like the hair color in the water was mixed in really good, it was go time. But I didn't want to just dunk the wig in right away. So I took a test strip and I just took a second to make sure I liked the color that it came out to. And then I put the whole wig in there. So this is my test strip. Um, as you can see, just from the contrast from where I didn't dip it, it's much darker. It is wet, but I think it's a go. So I'm gonna just dip the rest of the wig in the water. Uh, the part that's a part of the frontal, I put it in a ponytail because I might put that on with a brush just because I'm a little afraid, but basically I'm just gonna dunk it in there and try to avoid it much. So this is how the wig looked after it dried, and I'll show you what it looks like versus how it originally looked. The wig got darker. It basically went from like cherry red to cranberry, but I was trying to give, you know, cherry coke. So I decided to dunk it again. And this time I used conditioner instead of shampoo. And I used another bottle of mahogany and I repeated steps one through five. 